Well, guys, I'm in my car. I'm heading to Bob Cajun. Uh, blah, 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 going yarn shopping. Stay tuned. You want to see what I got? Want to see, want to see what I did? <gasps> We're going to Bob Cajun. Get your seatbelts on, guys. Wah! Road trip. Okay. Let's go in, guys. Did it I went into oh, okay guys okay <laughs> oh I'm still vibrating guys and I'm gonna tell you why I went to a like a fancy yarn store shop yeah they're not called I don't call them stores they're fancy yarn shops and well I get so nervous inside them I feel like uh, oh I'm so nervous Everything is so fancy. It's just so fancy and I just feel like I don't belong. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't knit. And knit, to me, knitting is fancy. And all the knitting people out there, they buy the fancy yarns. And I'm a crocheter and to me, 
I'm sorry, I'm not offended. I don't want to offend any of you crocheters out here because I'm a crocheter, but I just find crocheting, I don't know, just doesn't have that fancy, fancy, fanciness. But oh, I'm, just, I'm vibrating. And I feel like when I go into those shops, I feel like a bull in a china store. That's how I feel. So the woman that, oh my God, she probably thinks, oh good Lord, she probably thinks, what is that lady stealing? She probably thought I was stealing stuff. I was so awkward, so awkward and so terrified. What came over me, guys? I was really old. I'm still vibrating. Okay, but you want to see what I got? backwards okay hold on I think I gotta pee hang on okay so what had happened was um, Sharon thank you Sharon um, she had Facebook messaged me and a link that said that granny birds wool shop in Bob Cajun was selling uh, like selling their, their their shop so I took it as, and maybe a bunch of you guys take it as that too, that I took it as they were closing. She's not closing, guys. She's not closing. She's just selling her shop. And yeah, I didn't get any more information out of her because I was a petrified. Oh, I was so terrified, guys. Oh, why am I so panicky? I don't know. It's the pretty yarn. So do you want to see what I got? Okay, so it's in this fancy bag, guys. Okay. So I got a bottle of this. Oh, everything's reversed. I'm sorry. It's the you um you um you put your you put your fine fine bitties into this and you wash your stuff. So there was jasmine uh, lavender and grapefruit. Oh, to me, I thought I'd like the grapefruit, but I asked her, I said, can I smell these? She said, yes. Anyway, I chose the jasmine. Now, I don't know, maybe it's a little too much. Ooh, maybe it's a little too much for me because I'm, uh, as you know, I have fibromyalgia and me and scents do not mix. But anyway, uh, so that was $13 Canadian for a 500 milliliter bottle of this. Okie dokie. And, uh, okay, so I was talking to Heather from Heather's, Heather's Knits and Crochets. And I was, because I sent her the link too that Sharon had sent me. And anyway, um, she probably already knew about it because Heather knows about everything. Um, but anyway, I saw that they had uh, Naro, Naro yarn and ah, guys, I've always wanted Naro yarn. Always, 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 because it looks so pretty. And uh, this was my fancy shopping trip. Anyway, did I buy it? Well, wait and see. Let's see what's in my bag. I ended up getting, okay, spoiler alert. I did not get the Naro. And I'll tell you why, because Heather told me not to. <laughs> So I'm blaming Heather. It's all Heather's fault that sitting with me right now, being all pretty like, is an empty hand not holding that naro, naro. I don't know. I'll, I'll put somewhere you'll see me looking, looking at the, uh, at the naro yarn. So I thought, well, wait a minute. Maybe I have a picture. Hang on, guys. Okay, so I had the, those two balls of yarn beside each other, and I was like, yeah, you know, for the price of it, and I don't knit, so for the price of it, yeah, she's probably right, I shouldn't buy it, but I want one. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I came out with this, because I love it so much. I don't know why I'm obsessed with, it's backwards, I know, I'm sorry, James C. Brett Marble Chunky Yarn. I don't know what it is about this. I can't resist. I can't resist this when I see it. Because you get to, look at me, I get to, like you get to touch it. You get to look at it. You get to, oh, it's so pretty. So this is, um, I don't even know what it's made out of. It's machine washable, it says. 
but I don't know. Is this wool? I don't even know what this is. I bought, I bought one once before, and I sent it to, I sent it to somebody. Oh, I sent it to Crystal. Um, and then I bought another one that for me, and yeah, I just needed another one in my life because they're so pretty. Look. So I chose this color, whatever it is. I don't know. You guys know all the specs. Oh, it is. It's 100% acrylic. Okay, okay. Anyway, doesn't matter. 341 yards of, oh my God, look at you. You're, it's just a pillow of love, guys. Oh, it matches. Oh, hello. Look, okay, it matches my, I'm, this is my, if anybody doesn't know me, if you ever see me in this dress, this is Lisa's yarn shopping dress. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't go out. I don't have any clothes. So if you ever see me sporting this, Lisa's going shopping for yarn. So anyway, and then I bought this. I couldn't resist this, guys. <gasps> heaven. I'm in heaven. <gasps> you guys. Oh, I'm in heaven. Hello. This. Oh, what is this? 139. I don't know. Turn your turn your cameras back uh, backwards, guys. Sorry about that. There'll be a picture inserted at the end or somewhere. You might have already seen it. I'm going to be mishmashing this video up. And it's this yarn. Where am I? Okay. It is. Ah, I got Malabrigo, you guys. For real. I'm holding. I'm holding Malabrigo. I'm holding and looking and touching. Is that right? Am I right? Is this Malabrigo? I don't know. 100% superwash merino wool. This is what, okay, 100% superwash merino wool is in my hands. I am touching it and the colors are, <gasps> can you smell autumn leaves and autumn bonfires and, <gasps> Oh my goodness, I want to go camping. I want to crochet while camping. Oh, you guys. Okay, I know I'm Julie. And she says, uh, she goes, oh, do you want me to wind that up for you? Like, put it in a ball or, I don't know the lingo, guys. Oh my goodness. You know, when you put it on the Swiffer thing and then you, you, you ball it up? And I really wanted her to. Yes, I did. Because I can't use this stuff because I don't have a... a you know, that thing, the thing, and then the, the ball wire. I don't have one of those, so I can't use these. And <coughs> she probably thought I was more local than I even looked. Um, I said, no, I just want to look at it. So I just want to look at this and stare at it and say, look at me, I have one. <gasps> it's, wow. I just want to hug it and hold it and call it my own, and I can. I couldn't, I couldn't resist. So that's what I got, and then, oh, hang on, guys. Okay, so there's this thing that happens in Cortha Lakes, and I always, always miss it. And also, it's also because I really don't shop at the fancy yarn shops. But it's a pass, you get this pass, I know it's everything's backwards, sorry, guys. You get this passport, and you get your, all the stores that are involved, you get a stamp. And if you collect all... I don't know something happens when you collect all your stamps you go into a draw and it runs from June 11th to September 6th and uh, yeah it's backwards I don't even know why I'm showing it to you it's called it's a self-guided yarn crawl start wherever and whenever you like seven yarn shops one alpaca experience and two fiber festivals make it a summer to remember and so, yeah, there's a whole bunch that are listed. I want to take you, I've been, I drive by this quite a lot when I go get chlorine for my swimming pool. I want to take you guys to this one, which I haven't been to yet. Yeah, so I got my stamp from Granny Bird's Wool Shop. I got my stamp. I got my stamp. There, I'm stamped. And I got a pattern for vintage pick. Vintage Picnic Socks. It's a knitting pattern. I don't knit. 
but maybe I will. <gasps> oh, speaking of which, oh, there was this back wall that had all this, all this sock yarn. <gasps> oh, there was this one. I don't know if I took a video of it. Stay tuned to the end, guys. I'm going to be popping in a whole bunch of clips. Um, oh, and like, don't forget to like my video, guys. Hello, give me some likes, baby in the house. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that was my shopping trip. Look at me. Just, I know they don't go together, but can you just not, look, get in there and look and smell it and love it on it. Oh, anyway, guys. Yeah, who, oh, so this was, how much was this? This was $23.95, this here. This here stuff. And I adore it. I adore it. I don't know what anything means on it. It's a bulky 130 yards. Mecca. Mecca. I don't know if there's a colorway or does that mean a colorway? 139. 139. Whatever that word is. I'll take pictures and throw them in somewhere, guys. <gasps> oh, I'm in heaven. Okay, bye. Stay tuned for the slideshow and... Whole bunch of probably other jumbled mess from my trip. I took you to the locks and Bob Cajun. The bridge was closed. Um, yeah, anyway. See you soon!